now talk about the numbers that were announced for Lupin Limited and uh, let's first run you through the basic numbers, uh, what that looked like. The Q4 sales at 1883 crores and uh, the profit at 150 crore. Now the profit has taken a big hit. So let's talk about, talk to the management. We caught up with uh, Ms. Ramesh, the press and finance and planning and uh, asked him about the basic highlights. What's been the full year number? What did it look like? Yeah, we talk about the full year, we have done particularly well. Um, so the overall growth in terms of sales has been close to about 22%. In terms of EBITDA growth, we again grew about 22%. And the EBITDA margins were kind of maintained at 21%. Uh, PBT was again close to about 22% uh, growth. Uh, however, we paid a little more in terms of taxes uh, for the full year, uh, principally because of the fact that um, a lot of uh, our production was out of uh, uh, production centers, which are previously EOUs. So obviously, we had to pay tax during the course of the year. The other fact which happened was that um, in anticipation of launches, we had uh, transferred a lot of products into America for which we had actually paid taxes in India, whilst they still remained uh, un um, unsold in, uh, in, in America. Uh, so to the extent the overall PAT actually declined a bit, but if that were not to be considered, the overall growth would be about 7%. And what is the America formulation business? Uh, X uh, Geodion, what has been one of the growth? Uh, what has been the growth in the U.S. business? Right in dollar terms, uh, in America, we grew uh, close to about 18% uh, uh, on the uh, uh, DTM front. The overall brands growth was close to about eight and a half percent. Overall growth in America was close to 15% uh, on, on dollar terms. But in terms, of, uh, in terms of rupee, because uh, the rupee had depreciated against the dollar, the growth was close to about 21%. And acquisition has been a strategy for you. What uh, is the outlook going ahead and uh, do you plan any acquisition? You know, uh, we believe that uh, in order to look at uh, overall growth for the company, we need to balance it with uh, inorganic strokes as well. And we've done that particularly well in the past. There's no bravado or martial spirit associated with any of our acquisitions. Um, you would know that our overall balance sheet uh, strength is particularly good. Our debt equity ratio is around the 0.3 levels. So there's enough uh, leverage possible on our balance sheet itself. We are looking at, in fact, a lot of white spaces that we have in our overall portfolio of, uh, of, uh, of countries. So we are looking at, in fact, uh, uh, country, you know, uh, acquisitions potentially in, uh, in Latin America, uh, as well as in the CIS countries and so on. And what has been the growth uh, in sales for Geodon for this quarter? We don't actually discuss product-wise sales, but our overall market share there is particularly decent. Okay, that's, uh, that's all the time we have. Thanks so much uh, for joining us there. Uh. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.